Microphone, chicka chicka check, one two one two. This is your host, not some baby, and this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. You know, every man needs a code to govern himself. You know, a, a code which will bring forth discipline, where he could, you know, have his own set of rules and laws, and a code to, you know, govern his ways and actions just to make sure that he's not doing anything stupid or saying anything dumb that could be a detriment to his life. You feel me? And that says, that says a, a deal, you know, having discipline says a lot about a man. It, it's, it says that a man is able to control his urges. You feel me? Because if you can't control your urges, then you just a fucking animal pretty much. You feel me? Yes, we have an animal within at the same time, having a code and having a set of rules to govern yourself, you know, it tames the primitive beast in man. You feel me? And I said all that to say, you know, if a chick, you see a good looking chick walking down the street, you know, she's looking tasty. She's looking fine. And you want to beat them chicks. You know, you want to demonstrate. You want to demonstrate your technique. You feel me? You want to go up to shorty and say, hey, ma, you know, you looking good. You know, can I drink your bath water? Ow. It's like you want to say something perverted like that or say something creepish like that. And, you know, the, the thing is, we're in the era of the Me Too you okay, sis, and time's up, you know, headed by feminists or headed by women who think that or who say or who have evidence even to say that, you know, women are experiencing sexual harassment. And, you know, a lot of the complaints and observations and the movements, you know, they're warranted. Like you could say the feminists or the feminazis, they're doing too much. They're doing the most and this, that, and the third. But in some cases, you know, they have a point. Like, I have to admit, in some cases, dudes are total animals and Neanderthals, and they don't know how to talk to a woman. And, you know, fellas, I get it. You know, when you see a chick, she's wearing next to nothing, and she's wearing thirst traps. You know, she's wearing that sundress. She got no panties on. She got a fat ass. Her titties are damn near out. You can see her nipples and this, then, the third. I get it. You know, you want to treat her what you think that she should be treated. But at the same time, she got a right to wear that. You feel me? Like, let the law dictate whether or not what she's wearing is inappropriate. And I get it. You thinking that she she's thirsty for attention. She, she's an attention whore. She doesn't have respect for herself. And this, then, the third. I, I get it. But my thing is this. If you feel that this woman doesn't have respect for herself, why would you waste time and energy talking to this type of chick? You feel me? And I, I say that to say there's an art. To let a woman walk by you, walk past you without saying anything. You feel me? Especially when you're a man on a mission. Like, there's been times where, you know, I've seen a chick, like, her body was bodacious and she had a face to match. And I had somewhere to go. So, I really couldn't stop and give her that pimp juice. <laughs> you feel me? I, I couldn't stop to really serve her some A1 game. I had some business to take care of. I had places to go and people to see. So I really couldn't stop to lay my Mac down, down, down. I couldn't give her that ism. And, you know, when you have places to go and people to see and when you have discipline and when you have a set of codes and rules to govern your ways and actions, then it will make you a better man. Now, I'm not saying that we're perfect. We're meant to be perfect. I'm not perfect. Like, I may see a chick... And I may say, hey, Ma, how you doing? You look good, this, that, and the third. But even when I approach a woman, I do it with respect. You feel me? And I pick and choose who I approach a woman on the street. Like, if a chick is not giving me eye contact and she's not giving me, like, choosing signals, then er, I am not saying anything because a lot of chicks, not for nothing, you know, they, they don't deserve my conversation. And that's how you got to look at it. Like, confidence is a lifestyle. And if you have a ruling class mentality and you see yourself as a king, then you should not talk to those who you think are peasants. And if you think that this woman is beneath you, then why waste your time catcalling, you know, calling her all types of bitches and hoes and this, that, and the third. It's like, like she's minding her business. Leave her the fuck alone. She's not doing anything to you. So why are you ruining her day with the fuckery, with the bullshit? And as men, we're above that. And not for nothing, fellas, when you stop giving these chicks, you know, attention, especially unwarranted attention, like un 
unwarranted attention. Let me say that loud and clear. Unwarranted attention, then they're going to stop trying to get your attention with these, you know, short shorts and tight ass, you know, pants and cat suits to the point. They listen, a lot of these chicks, their outfits are so damn tight, you would have thought they they about to get a yeast infection in that bitch. You feel me? They like they're fucking a pants or a short size away from a yeast infection. It's like, let the cat breathe. Let the kitty kitty cat breathe. My let it breathe. But, you know, leave these chicks alone, yo. Because, you know, not for nothing, women come a dime a dozen. They're like buses, you know, buses in New York City or trains in New York City. You miss one, you can see something better 15 minutes later or even back to back. <clears throat> Real talk. It's like there is constant. You know, you feel me? There's a 20-year-old, a 21-year-old, excuse me, there's a 21-year-old graduating from college every fucking day. So, why are you stressing over this chick? You feel me? Why are you stressing over this chick when there's a chick graduating from college every day? So, it's like there's a lot of fish in the sea to get mad or to get antsy or to get anxiety or to act out of character. You acting out of character because this chick is not giving you the time of day because she knows that you're thirsty and she knows that you just want to fuck. So she's going to treat you accordingly. She's going to treat you like a trick because she knows that you're not trying to talk to her because she's a bookworm or she has smarts or she's a businesswoman. She knows that you want to beat them cheeks based on her presentation. So treat the situation accordingly. It's like a lot of women... You know, they feel safe in a social environment. So if you want to talk to a chick who wear next to nothing or who wear thirst traps or, you know, who may wear the uniform of a quote unquote whore or slut. If you want to find them type of women and they really want to talk to you, they like receptive to you and they're very cooperative without giving you attitude. Then go to a motherfucking nightclub, baby. Go to a club, a lounge, a bar. Or any any place where it's, it's meant for people to be social. But talking to a chick on the street, her guards are already up. You know, her antennas are heaven high. You feel me? And she's just walking down the street. She's using the street as a fucking fashion runway. You know, she just want to floss. She want to flex. You feel me? She's not thinking about dig, dig, dig. And if she is, then she's going to give you signs so you can holler. Like... When chicks smile at me, you know, they wink at me or they give me eye contact that would beckon me to talk to her, then I'm going to make my move. But if she's not looking at me, if a chick is not looking at me or looking my way and she's not giving me so, some sort of rhythm or play, then I'm going to mind my fucking business. You feel me? I'm going to go my way. You feel me? But even then, it depends on if she's if she has the aura that she wants to talk to you. You know, she may give off that aura. She may give off that vibe if she gives you eye contact. But that, that's I think that's when you should shoot your shot. You feel me? If she gives you eye contact, like she's like damn near, she's staring at you, wanting you to talk to her. And then you just take it from there. And if she rejects you or she's not feeling you or, you know, she's not buying the tickets that you're selling, then, you know, keep it moving, playboy. Don't call her all types of bitches and hoes and want to cuss her out and say shit like, that's why you ugly anyway, you bitch. It's like, come on, don't give her the satisfaction. Never ever give a woman the satisfaction, especially a stranger, that she's getting you out your element, that she's taking you out of character because you can't get what you want, so therefore you want to throw a tantrum like a fucking five-year-old. You know, it's time for men to boss up. We're better than that. And, you know, I, I get it. You want to fuck the shit out of her? Like, you damn near... She's like a walking orgasm. You feel me? It's like you see this shit, you just want to go to the corner and beat off. But, you know, you want to be a fucking caveman and harass this woman for what, yo? For what? You're not going to fuck. So if it's really that serious, just get a fucking escort because at least you know that you don't have to deal with this chick anymore. You could just pay to play and tell the broad to keep it moving or you don't even have to say that. As soon as you bust your nut, she's already out the fucking door. So, you know, it's crazy during these times. You know, it, listen, if you really want to get rid of the feminist movement, fellas, if you really want to get rid of the feminist movement and you know you want to put like the final nail and the death coffin of Time's Up, You Okay Sis, 
or you know this me too movement then just ignore chicks yo just ignore them until they want attention like genuine attention like they want a conversation i'm not talking about thirst trap attention attention like hey how you doing what's your name that that type of attention like they really want to get to know you you feel me because not for nothing man they they putting dudes nowadays under the fucking ringer and like you're guilty until proven innocent even if the accusation is a lie you're guilty in the court of public opinion and in a court of public law, in a court of law. You understand me? So it's best to move wisely. You feel me? Especially when you, especially when you get to a certain age. Listen, if you want if you want to see buck naked chicks, if it's really that bad, then go to a fucking strip club, yo. <laughs> go to a strip club. Because all them chicks, they want all the attention as possible. You feel me? Like get a little few dollars or get some fucking quarters like make it rain with some quarters if you if you really that fucked up in the game but you know not for nothing you know there's an art to letting her walk by you know let her mind your you know let shorty mind her business she's minding her business and you should do the same i get it she's wearing the uniform of a chick who wants attention but you know ideally we could say that you know, she shouldn't be wearing that if she doesn't want a certain type of attention. If she doesn't want, like, the dogs howling at her. I, I get it. Realistically, it it that's not the case. So, it it's like a slippery slope. You feel me? Because not for nothing, a lot of chicks, they could flip that. Like, they could flip, they, they could flip the idea of sexual harassment against women. Because it's like, okay, you wearing skimpy clothes, but you sexually harassing me. You feel me? Because who's to say I want to see that? Who's to say that I want to see all that flesh? So if anything, you sexually harassing me because you wearing revealing outfits. You're not wearing any underwear. I can see through your dress. You're wearing more skin than a little bit you, and you're wearing next to nothing. You're pretty much walking around with a thong, with a full body thong. So who's to say you're not sexually harassing me? Who's to say? So, fellas, I get it. I, it's really a conundrum. But for the most part, I, I'm going to touch on that. You know, I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on that with a female, with a woman guest. Like, it's revealing clothes, set a form of sexual harassment towards men. I'm going to bring a woman into the onto the podcast, rather, and talk about that. But, you know, fellas, it's not that serious. You know, let her go. Let her walk on by, playboy. Let just let her walk on by because how you know the laws are set up now they're not in your favor and for your dignity for your integrity and for your manhood do your manhood a favor and just go about your business and not for nothing when you go somewhere when you step outside your house you should already have in mind where you want to go you feel me like every time you step outside you should have a place that could improve your circumstance or situation. Even if it's a mundane conversation amongst your homies or amongst your associates or friends or whatever the case may be, it should be productive. Wherever you go should be productive. You should have somewhere to go. You feel me? You shouldn't be hugging a block, catcalling every chick who walked by, being a fucking creep. So for the sake of your manhood, you know, just go. Some, you, you need. You always have to dress for the occasion to go somewhere for an occasion. You feel me? And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Not Some, baby. Check out my website at www.notsomeblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them. The Swinger Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. Yeah, da, 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 dig. And on that note, until next time, peace. And don't kiss them holes in the mouth, baby.